greetings to you wherever you are watching me from. So, a couple of weeks ago, I created a fault line galaxy themed birthday cake for a client. The cake was made up of delicious layers of cookies and cream flavored um, cake sponge sponge cakes. Uh, as you can see at this stage, I have decorated baked my cake. Obviously, I have torted them into layers, and now I, I am stacking them and filling them with my delicious homemade buttercream. Uh, if you want to have a look at how I created how I create my buttercream, I have a video already on my channel that you can watch to see the ingredients and also the uh, process in creating this buttercream cake. So I am now stacking my cake. There's a total of six layers of cake. The cake is about um, almost um, just over eight inches tall. So. My cake is well stacked and you can see it's about 8 inches tall and now I am crumb coating with a very thin layer of buttercream. I'm trying to make sure that as best as I can my crumb coat is as smooth as possible. I'm using my, um, I used my smoother, my metal smoother to scrape around the sides and obviously uh, scrape the top. Now at this stage I am now applying a layer of black colored buttercream not on all of the cake just concentrating my um, application on the center of the cake just to create that um, back black background of a galaxy and now I have now uh, colored four different buttercream into purple light blue darker blue and also pink now I'm using another smaller spatula to create um, different shades or, 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 or spatters of those four colors. And you could, as you saw earlier, I applied some edible pears, white edible pears, just to create the um, impression of stars in the galaxy. Now I am now applying, uh, I think it's two, a two colored, uh, colored buttercream on either side, the top and the bottom, of my buttercream covered cake that is I, I, I'm trying to make sure that the center which which have the galaxy and also the stars are not covered so now I am now scraping the excess of these teal buttercream colored cake and being as slow as possible and covering every gap I see I'm using my metal spatula to scrape the sides and at this stage now, what I'm doing, I am trying to create layers or strips of all the um, colored buttercreams I created on a clean film to create these uh, multiple streams of buttercream colors as I pipe through. So I'm using this piping tip. I'm not sure what it's called. So it is the star. I think the multiple star um, piping tip. I place my strips of um, buttercream into the bag with my buttercream piping tea. Now I've just now scraped the top of my cake to make sure it is smooth. I'm now piping uh, around the edges of my cake top and now I'm applying more of those white pearls, edible pearls to create more stars. Applying, I'm now, now piping more edges on the top. At this step point in time, I am now piping the um, edges, the bottom edge of my cake or border of my cake with a smaller piping tip. Now the cake is fully decorated. I mean, almost done. So at this stage now, I am now applying uh, edible gold paint on the edges of those fault line borders. As you can see, uh, I'm now I'm first of all doing the bottom bit of it. And now I've now proceeded to the top of it. I'm finishing off the cake. I have now put the topper, personalized topper for the, the cake uh, of the cake um, um, celebrant or the birthday celebrant. Which and and that's my cake done. Thank you for watching. If you like, give me a thumbs up, follow, and um, share. Thank you. Or subscribe and share. Thank you and God bless you. Take care and see you in the next video.